Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are now in the man cave. It is your favorite cat lady, Lexi. And I am sitting here with a nice, uh, nice group of gentlemen who I am going to get very messy with. We have, oh, I didn't catch your name, handsome. Oh, Derek. We have Derek, Sean, Rodney, and Yusef, and they are going to be breaking down all things men when it comes to hair. So we're going to discover, debunk, debate, demystify, all of that. Okay, this is going to be a whole other level for this. We're going to get into it with these guys. I have a group of questions. Does everybody agree to participate fully and 100%? I need a short hand. Did we get the signatures? Do we have everybody's signatures in the back? Okay, we all ready to go? Okay, so tonight we are talking women's hair, we're talking about relationships, how it concerns you guys, whether you are married, single, somewhere in, the t in between, or very messy at it all. So the first question we are going to ask is, is hair an attraction factor? Mm. Get it how you live. Absolutely. <laughs> Says the barber. Says the barber. <laughs> so, well, first thing I look at is your hair. You know, I, like someone who works in Foot Locker, the first thing they look at is your shoes. Yeah. So that being my profession, the first thing I look at is your hair. So even though I'm a barber and I mainly cut men's hair, I also cut women's hair too. Now that we're trending towards the short, natural hairstyles, curly styles. So I think that all hair is beautiful, first of all, but is hair attractive? Yes. And what makes it unattractive is not taking care of it. Mm. Uh, absolutely for me too. It, it's a factor, but I wouldn't call it a uh, deal breaker. Okay. You know, of course, you know, the first first thing you do is you see a person with good eyes. So, you know, the appearance is the first thing that um, they give off. Uh, but it, of course, there has to be a connection deeper than what, you know, their appearance is. So let me ask you this. You, you meet her on Tinder on Wednesday and y'all had this great conversation, and you're supposed to meet up on Friday. Friday comes, her picture doesn't match. Her face does, but her hair doesn't match. What do you do? Go, one, two, three. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you, I took the time to come and meet you, okay. so I'm still gonna sit down and get to know you, you know? But if you're, uh, I might be less attractive, if, if your picture doesn't match the way you look, but like I said, I'm, I still have to take the time to get to know you. I can't just be shallow and uh, just go based upon your look. Okay, back to you, sir. You want Tinder, it's Wednesday, not Friday. Boom, what do you do? Catfish. No, <laughs> but it's, it's not a catfish, it's more like a hair fish. But catfish. women change their hair up. Like, I know you can see me on a Wednesday and then see me on a Wednesday night, and I can have two different hairstyles. So it's like, is that a fish? Because it's the same skeleton, but you know, the scales look a little different. I think, I think that, you know, that's when you start wondering, okay, are you wearing real hair? Are you wearing fake hair? Are you wearing, you know, but if it looks good, it looks good. So if you're switching it up and it looks good or it looks better, you know, hey. To my married man, we made it past all the tender dates. We jumped the broom. <laughs> Say that again. You, you made it. You dropped the broom. You're on the other side of the broom now. You're on the other side. We got rings. We we claiming each other. Right. But you, she show up to the dinner party and she didn't look like how you left her that morning. What what's happening here? Well, I mean, I'm the, that ain't gonna fly. You know, me and my wife. You know, we pretty much got the game. You know, if, okay. if we gonna attend something, you know, my wife is fly. You know, she knows. I, you know, I've been rocking with her since we was. 15 years old, and she's been doing hair since she was 17, so okay. that's over 20, 30 years we've been rocking together, so if, you know, she knows when it's time to show up, it's time to show up, and right. show out. So, okay, so you're dating a woman that's in the cosmetology industry? My wife's license. You absolutely are dating a woman in the cosmetology industry. Yeah, and you yourself are in the industry, so you guys understand that women are going to change their hair. 
with they mood, with they outfit, they find cute earrings, now I gotta change my hair. I saw this on television, I gotta change my hair. Did you see Taraji, she, she did it, I gotta do it, Rihanna did it, we gotta do it. How do you guys manage that? from the audience response. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that it's like, okay, so wait, so does this speak to the phobia that our doctors were talking about earlier but women don't feel comfortable taking out their trash because they don't want to seem unkempt? Because it's this heavy weight on a being kemp, right? You don't take care of your hair, you must not take care of something else. Is equal, equal, right? Is Are they really mutually exclusive, though? Can I take my trash out without my hair being done, please? Uh, so that pretty much goes along with what I was saying earlier. Uh, you know your woman is not going to look the same all the time. So that's why you, I feel like I can cut you some slack if I meet you on a date and you don't look like how uh, you may have looked in your profile picture. Because mm. uh, like Sean said, he comes home to a different woman every day. You know, and as a man, you really don't, you're not going to want your woman to wear the same hairstyle all the time. Okay. You know, so you may like some other than other, some hairstyles uh, um, other than some, uh, but ultimately you have a connection that's deeper, but the hair is still going to play somewhat of a fact. Okay, I'll tell you something. I can talk about that for a minute. <laughs> Come on to the spell. All right. Um, you know, I pretty, you know, I pretty much know when it's time for my wife to kind of switch it up a little bit. You know, like I can tell, like if she rocking short hair, like she, you know, she looks good with her short hair when she rock her short hair. But I can come to her and say, "Hey, babe, check this out." You know what I mean? I want to see a little bit of long. I want to see, you know, you know, sometimes long hair can give you that little, that sexy, that 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 I want to get with you tonight. You know, you just kind of. Turn it up a little bit when she got that long hair going, you know. So I'm uh, hmm. <laughs> so uh, I mean, like I said, you know, it just it just all depends, you know. I can just tell my wife when it's time to switch it up. So, well, yes, yes, I think like I say, um, I really have never had a complex when it comes to hair. Somewhat, um, I like I like all style, I like short. It really doesn't, doesn't matter to me, as long as it, 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 it's upkept and um, it looks, you know, nice to me, and which is good for me. Now, I do, I do kind of lean towards the, the curly look because, okay. you know, I'm a man that likes um, curly hair for the way that it looks when it's dry and mm -hmm. when it gets wet. All right, so let me ask you guys this, because we've already decided, okay, we can tolerate her changing her hair. It has to be well kept. Listen, or she just nasty. That's that's group consensus, and it's not absolute, but that's the group consensus right now. So my question is this. So she goes and gets her hair done, but she doesn't like it. And it's making her feel self-conscious. How does that make y'all feel? Is that a turn off for you? I'll tell you how I handle that. I uh, pretty much, see I can tell if it looks good on my wife or not. Right? She might not think it look good, but I can look at her and say, well, check this out, babe. And I can give it a good look, and I can say, you know what, well, babe, that really do look good on you. Oh, uh, sorry about that. That really does look good on you, you know. Uh, it just all depends, you know. But I'm gonna rock with her. She say, babe, I don't, I ain't feeling this. You know, it's kind of. I'm gonna say, well, check this out, babe. You know, like I said, you know, it can be worked with. If not, let's go figure out what we can do to fix it. You know, only time. Let me say this. Only time. I let my wife get really get a pass for not really getting her hair done is when she's on her lady's personal. You know what I mean? But I'm just keeping it real. You know, this is man cave. This is what yeah. man talk about. Right. You know what I mean? 
So when she's on her lady's personal, and I can understand, I, you know, it, it can look kind of crazy, but just throwing a hat or something. You know, you know, I buy a couple of hats with some diamonds on it or something, but kind of still look kind of groovy, you know what I'm saying? Right. This is how you stay married. You get her the hat with the diamonds on it, yeah. but it's a person. That's what it is. That's the keys there. Those are gems, man. Listen to this. I, I personally, I personally like to get their nails done and stuff, render on them, just so they can feel better about themselves. More keys, maybe not the hair and nails. Okay, okay. But okay, so my question is, she doesn't like it. You don't like it. What do we do next? We got this ugly hairstyle perched up here. It's just perched. It's just perched and tweeting. What do we do? How do you communicate this to her? to where you don't end up in the doghouse and you don't have to go buy extra nail appointments and spend extra hair money. How do we how do we save money and communicate honestly? That's, that's a question for a very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we just got we just have a right there with it. It's like um finding a silver lining on a dark cloud. You have to basically like, you know, support her and you know understand how she feels about her hair and um whatever you Do you feel that you have rights? Do you feel that you have rights? I did it. Do you feel that you have rights as a husband to voice how you feel about your wife's hair? Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely. I agree. Because if you don't care about that I care about what you look like, we got a problem. We got a problem. You know, um, your hair, we, we rocking with each other. So, I care about what your hair look like. I mean, you know, you know what? You should want me to care about what your hair look like. Uh -huh. You know, so yeah, that's that's very important. Very important. I'm very active in my wife's hair business. I like Tread lightly. I don't want you to have a sleep in this Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we cool. We cool. She, she know I'm, I'm into it. Because I tell her, you know, baby, it might be about that time for you know, I'm just... You know, you know, I may mean, book you appointment or something. You know what I mean? I'm in it. I'm in it. You know, because so you supporting it. I support as it. you continue to like the hold the accountability, share the accountability. See, I'm the kind of husband. Uh -oh. I want my wife to be attractive, not only to me but other men. You oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So when she's yeah. out, yeah. I don't want. I, you know, sometimes I ask her, "Babe, check this out." Did any dude speak to you today or something? That feels good, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you don't have nobody that nobody can pay attention to. Because right? yeah. yeah. if you have somebody that nobody pays attention to, what in the world made you pay attention to? Wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> so if she go out. So is she supposed to produce numbers? Look, see this, see, he gave me his number, you know what I'm saying? He asked me, you know what I'm saying? He bought my tea at Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? He went ahead and paid for my lunch. Is this a, the type of behavior? I need to understand a gradient. Well, no, nah, I mean, it's a good stomach point. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so it, is it just it collect your phone number? But, you know, it can stay right there and be attractive. <laughs> You know, so he you. just looked yeah. at me. Yeah. So he hey, lingered. Your hair looks so nice that counts. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so she has to she has to immediately decline, however, still present herself yeah. for the option only to still decline anyway? Well not just just present herself. Um just just present herself, you know, fly. Just present herself. She gotta be fly. She gotta be fly, you know. But I, like I say, if uh if a man um those are compliment or nothing like that. I have no problem with that, you know, because that's what men do. That's um, what men do. Yeah, so as long as it stays in the, um, in the realm of, res of, of respect, then I'm fine with it, you know. As long as it stays in the realm of respect, we cool. Okay. Let me, let me give my two cents, because <laughs> <clears throat> I, 
I stand differently on that. That could be a problem. You know what I mean? One, two compliments, okay. But if you riding, if you got someone that's turning heads left and right, you know what I mean? You might even want, like, I'm not trying to change anyone, but if you're the type that goes out and dresses half naked to get attention, you're not really, you're not my type. You but know what I mean? You well, can wait, do that, wait, you can do that with me. Hold on, this question was for the people who made it past Tinder and jumped the broom. Uh -huh. So she's like, y'all already claiming I mean, each I other, married, right? I was married a couple times. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. But, but what we tried to get at though is like, so wait, so it's like after two, how many compliments is to receive? Because see, she's not asking for these compliments, she's just looking real good. So after the third compliment, she's like, ah, no. Listen, two people today, you want to pay two hours. Is that what you're supposed to do? Or, you know what I mean, what's the cutoff? Is it like a three person, like before noon, and then it's right over after noon, or? I mean, you just gotta be secure. You gotta have trust and, and be secure because if you're insecure, that's gonna destroy the relationship regardless if you're, she's getting compliments or not. Exactly. So whether it's whether she got on a do-rag or her bundles right. or whatever, that's just such a hard topic to approach. You know what I mean? How many compliments can a woman get before it's an issue for her man? You know what I mean? Well, I have, uh, I have, two. I have, uh, I have uh, one compliment Per person. <laughs> per person. After he gave it back and he gave us a solid answer. I can work with that. Per person. Okay. Um, pretty much thinking back on, piggybacking on what you said. My man over here, you said, uh, as long as you have an understanding in your relationship, I don't feel, and you, you're secure, and your wife knows, or your, or your, um, your partner knows what you're expecting. Um, I don't feel like it's a such thing as too many compliments that you want to get out of deal with. Either. I don't either. <laughs> you, just better, you, better, you just better keep up with them compliments. Hello. Hello. And then you, you have to compliment them because if you're not and they get the same right. you know, Damn. that's going to become a problem. But ask her how many so you can give her twice as much when she get home. You got but, 10 okay. compliments today? All right, baby. Count them up. It's coming down. Well, thank you guys. I want to say thank you to each of these gentlemen. I hope they sleep very well tonight. <laughs> Having said everything that's been said, so I want to say thank you to all of the gentlemen, Yusuf, Rodney, Sean, and Derek. Can we all give them a round of applause? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I've been the base with Morello Kane. It has been a wonderful experience. We are going to get this show wrapped up because we need you to watch the new season. We need you to check out every episode. Tell us what you think. Share, like, send a comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend about one of the best shows where you can debate, debunk, and discover all things paranormal.